In today's video, I'm going to show you a very easy and effective way to beat the blitz out of the trips tight end offense in Madden 22. Now, if you're new to the channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button down below. It's completely free to subscribe to the channel, and it just allows you to stay up to date with the latest tips and strategies that I release every single day here on the YouTube channel. Now, like I said in this video, we're going to be showing you how to beat the blitz. Real simple little setup here, real easy. Um, and the beauty of this is that trips tied in, honestly, at this point in the year with the way the meta is working and just kind of some of the things that are transpiring in terms of the way that you can blitz, bunch, blitz the bunch set, even if they block their running back. It really is making trips tied in, uh, I think, one of the better offenses in this game. I think a lot of people are sleeping on it. And so um, if you've not picked up my trips tied in offensive ebook yet, I would really encourage you to do that. I think it's the best offense in the game uh, for a lot of different reasons. And if you want to grab this offense, there's a link in the description that you can join my Patreon. Now, my Patreon includes all of my ebooks. So I've got a bunch ebook in there, I've got a bunch tied in ebook, got a trips tied in ebook. I've got a spread ebook, an air raid offense, a trio offense. Um, we've got 13 offenses and defensive ebooks available to you. And the cool part is it's all for just 10 bucks. For just 10 bucks, you're going to get literally everything. So if you want to get access to that, there's a link in the description below where you can sign up for the Patreon membership. Now, like I said in this video, we're going to show you how to beat the blitz. And I think that when people face trips tight end, they mistakenly think that it's relatively easy to blitz. And to be honest with you, it's really not. Um, because you have really good spacing. But you also have really good pass protection in the fact that you have the play PA counter go, which is one of the best blocking uh, plays in the game. And then you also have just plays that you can easily use to quick dot. I mean, literally just dot them up no matter what they do. And the play we're going to talk about today is curl flat for that specific uh, deal. So let's say you get, for example, a Mike Woods 3. And let's say they go with double hard flats. So it looks something like this. Okay. All we're going to do... Uh, is we're going to put the circle receiver on a hitch and then we're going to take our tight end and we can either put him on a seam streak or we could put him on an out route. If you think it's man, I would put him on an out. If you think it's zone, I would, you might put him on a seam streak. And what you're going to see here is the whole entire middle of the field is going to be wide open. And so you're just going to basically take whichever side the user doesn't go. If the user goes to the right, then you're going to throw to the, to the left. If the user goes to the left, then you're going to throw the right. So I'll give you kind of some examples here. In this example here, you should see that the user is going to go um, to the left. And so what that means for us is now all we have to do is say, oh, we're going to step up and we're going to hit that right there. Real easy access throw for the quarterback. Now, Another thing that they could do um, is if they want to try to stop this is what they might do is they might do something like this where they take this safety and they put him on some type of, you know, uh, hook curl or whatever. They try to get him to take away the running back and then they're going to come over here uh, to that, that open uh, slot right there. Okay. So let's say you get a look like this. Well, this is where this often or this this play really does work well because now we can just simply take the tight end out. Just a simple quick out to the tight end if there's no hard flat defender. So really in a snap second, you're gonna be able to just dice them up. This, this it's very difficult to stop something like this um, with zone coverage. Let's say for example they put a vertical, you know, maybe like a shaded down vert hook um on this back side here there are some other things that we could do to make this even better against something like this but what you can easily do here is say oh i got the flat i'll just take it and take the flat yard easy access throw so you're really just kind of taking a quick snapshot i like to read the middle of the field first kind of read it outside in if you will or inside out because i already know the tendency is going to be that we're going to get double hard flat so if we can get them to start doing something like a vert hook in a hard flat well, what's going to happen is now I'm going to have a lot more room um, to be able to hit other routes. So I have my, you know, like here, oh, they've got, oh, okay, and I'll just take my flat and get up field, okay? Now, what about a man blitz? I think man blitzes are a little bit easier and at the same time a little bit harder to beat uh, in this situation. So let's say we get some man-to-man -man pressure. Well, if we get man-to-man -man pressure, you know, typically what we're going to do here is we're going to work this back, this right side of the screen. So... You know, you could, if you wanted to, just throw this like right there. The problem is stuff like that happens. And that's where you got to be a little careful, okay? Now, there are ways around that. And, you know, something as simple as like 
because they're in Mike Blitz, they're in cover zero, right? So they're going to have to shade their coverage up. Otherwise, they're going to get bombed over the top. So if they're shading their coverage up, a lot of times this little hitch will still be open and you can just check it down. So it's going to be open just long enough that their user is going to at least kind of hesitate on this, I think. And so then what's going to happen is um, you're going to be able to work your out route to your tight end. This out route to the tight end is very consistent against man. You can easily just click on and kind of cut it off or possession catch it and typically have a pretty easy time at beating the man coverage. And then, of course, if they make a hard run to the left side, um, you know, again, most of the time against man, you're going to take your tight end out. But if they do make a hard run at that left side, you can always take this option or not option, but angle route to the back. Got a terrible animation there. Let me show it to you again. Let me get this guy down here so he's kind of where he's supposed to be. But if they really run to the left side, which typically they won't in man, um, but you can hit that running back route real quick. And then last but not least, let's say that you get a little bit of a breakdown and you know they're just able to, to do a pretty good job. You can kind of trust this, um, as I throw a pick, of course. Um, you can kind of trust this throw back to Mike Evans. You just gotta be a little careful. Um, if they don't press it, it's a lot easier than if they do. I'll show you what it looks like if it's not pressed. Not pressed, it's like I said, significantly easier. You're literally just gonna lowball it, click on and aggressive catch it, and as you can see, it's wide open. If they do press you out of man, um, couple things. One, don't be afraid. Every now and then, just chuck a fade. Literally just, I mean, you could do something as simple as this right here. One of my other favorite little tricks is, you know, maybe take this, you could take Miller and put him on the fade, and then you could take this guy Evans and put him on like an out. This is a great little tactic against like a press man type thing because you can lob that. You can typically lob Miller wide open over the top of a man coverage, and I'll show you that real quick here. And, you know, again, in Mutt, you know, you're still going to be able to get this over the top of a press man, especially if it's cover zero. So you see you got that outside release. You just lob it to the outside. You see all the space we have, and now we can hit this over the top. So – if they're pressing you, that'll get them to stop pressing you, right? But, um, you know, if we still wanted to be able to kind of run our basic concept against press man, we kind of still can, to be honest. This um, this curl, you just want to wait. You just want to wait just a, just throwing him just a little bit too early. Uh, but basically, if you can just get enough time to, to wait just for a second for him to clear, um, you should be good. Now, the other thing, like I said, is all of this is like you're still – He's not your first read is what I'm getting at. So, like, you're going out route to, to – really what I like to do is I like to look quick. Oh, it's man. Okay, out. Boom, boom. No, that's not there. So then I can throw that and try to cut it off or aggressive catch it. Um, you know, if you're really worried about man coverage, then I wouldn't run this exact – or press man coverage. Then I would use the vertical streak. Um, if you're really – also, one last thing is if you're worried about – man to man you could do something as simple as something like this where you have this so we have this curl route right here right so we have our out route to Gronkowski but what we can do is we can actually turn that into a post we could take the back and put him on an out and it's kind of basically the same uh, idea and then what I would do is uh, take Evans and motion him to this side and leave him on this curl now you have a little bit better of a man-beating concept, and you can just take your running back out route, which they will very, very rarely cover. And if they do cover that, now your tight end post is wide open. So these are just a couple little ways that you can really make them pay for blitzing you. And then now they're going to have to go back to coverage where you can easily just carve them up. I think trips tight end is one of the hardest formations in the game. Uh, to play coverage against. So if you enjoyed this video breakdown and you want to learn more about this offense or if you just want to get better as a Madden player, head on down to the description below. You can join my Patreon. By joining the Patreon, you're going to get access to all of my eBooks, including my Trips Tied In eBook. And you can sign up for that Patreon for just 10 bucks. So for just $10 a month, and you can cancel whenever you'd like, you're going to get everything. All 13 of my eBooks, all my tips, exclusive breakdowns, updates reports everything so i'd really encourage you to sign up for the patreon if you're still watching this and you do want to sign up for it head on down to the description of the video there's a link there that you can click click on and it'll take you right over to the website where you can get signed up for the patreon